Hi guys, this is Hope from Cedaholic Gardens, and you see some tools on the ground here because I'll be recording Cedaholic Husband making fabric pins for this weed fabric. We didn't bring any, but being the maker that he is, he just decided to make his own. So we're going to show you how. This is just a piece of fencing, and he's going to start. So here we we do have a roll of fencing that we're going to use for our uh, trellises. Um, I didn't buy any pins because I intended to make some. And what I'm doing is a three-prong pin. There's my pin right there. I am going to roll down the sharp edges. That's what the linemen are for. And blunt the tips so that nobody hurts themselves when they're working in the garden. It doesn't matter if everybody's in the same direction because they'll get there in the end. I am leaving it long. Uh, that is a snag hazard, but it's one we're going to take. And uh, that length is what's going to help hold the fabric so that it doesn't rip right through. And I come over, make sure I'm relatively straight, and just drive it in. Now, this isn't ideal. I want to be on the outside edge because I'm going to overlap the fabric. This is landscaping fabric. This is very thin and porous, which is what we want. We want water to get through very easily. And it's not, the first rain is going to bead up and roll off the top. That's not good. So, uh, ideally, we will soak this so that its absorb. fabric is a little looser and it'll absorb better next time. Uh, we'll see if we can get around to that. And then I am going to overlap probably about what Couple looks inches. like two feet. Too much. Not at all. Six inches is enough. I think. This is very thin. The yeah. ground is awful. Uh, as we've pointed out, it has been tilled. Um, hmm. These weeds have, are well established and will be back in a heartbeat. So we want to overlap, a good overlap. We're going to cut the fabric, put our, our thriving plants into, and put uh, uh, good amended soil around them. Uh, this soil should be viable, uh, and the amended soil will just help give it a safe, quick start. And probably we'll put some wood chips around as well to help absorb moisture and hold it in and hold yes, the fabric in place. there you go. Absolutely. So, so, if they're established plants, the wood chips, we can get around them. Perfect. I love it. Okay. So, that's our two-minute tip for making your own fabric weed fabric pins out of um, a roll of eight, 12, eight, twelve dollars a roll, something like that. How much is a roll of that stuff? I'm not going to tell you. Okay, man, it means it's more than eight or twelve dollars. Oh yes. <laughs> so. But I bought a lot of roll because I was planning to do a lot of this. Okay, okay. So, thanks for watching. As always, blessings of bounty and may your gardens and your lives always bring you joy, inspiration, and abundance. Say nice things about Cedaholic Husband in the comments below, guys. Woo! See you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye, y'all. -bye. Bye,